Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here. It's time for Tuesday's Facebook Live. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Let's see if my, my internet holds up today. We're having some issues, so I'm not sure how well this live is gonna go. I've got my fingers crossed. We had some issues this morning on my team page and um, hopefully today it'll go okay because I have got something really, really cute to show you guys. All right, I see a few of you jumping on. Let's see, hi Jessica. Thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. Uh, so this week here at Pink Buckaroo Designs, my focus is all Valentines. I am very excited about it. I chose this set to really focus on. Have you guys seen this set? Hey love, it's my product of the week. And it's really cute. It's not the only Valentine set in the new Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. We have three actually this year that would qualify, I think, as um, Valentine stamps. This one's more of your fun, cutesy, um, kid treats, friend treats, fun, you know, that kind of stuff. So I've got a project for each of these little critters. Actually, there's two other ones. I didn't do those guys. Maybe I need to come up with something else. Hi guys, thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate it. So today, we're gonna look at this guy. He's an otter. And if you don't know, I love to make 3D projects. Candy, um, holders, you know, any kind of treat. I love making those. So Valentine's treats are one of my favorites to make. And so I like to go and find treats to match the stamp you know sometimes i try to really find something that kind of pairs up nicely with it so when i saw this set i was like that's gonna be a fun one to match up now i will say the gorilla was pretty easy the alligator was pretty easy the skunk didn't have any trouble but that otter you guys see him he's super cute i kind of had trouble but i think you'll like what i came up with um it's kind of fun and silly. Okay, so I'm going to switch you guys around. You know what? First, before I switch you around, I want to show you what I'm using. These are called the Sweet Cups. Have you guys seen these in the catalog? I kind of want to give you an idea of how big it is. It's bigger than maybe, you know, like if you get takeout in the little condiment cups, the little, it's small, it's bigger than that, but not quite as big as maybe a, a soup to go. Does that kind of give you reverence? We get takeout every Friday night, so I'm very familiar <laughs> with the takeout dishes. Um, Charlie's here to say hello. He's my schnauzer. There's a black cat that lives next door that actually lives on our porch, and he goes crazy. She loves to taunt him. See, he knows that she's there. So I apologize for crazy schnauzer behavior. So anyway, this is what we're, we're going to use today. Um... You can find it on page 15, right here in this suite. It's not with the Hey Love stamp set. It is the How Sweet It Is suite, which I love. Class to go coming very shortly with this set. Um, but down here you'll see there's the sweet, I keep calling them the sweet treat cups, but they're actually called sweet cups. It's pretty simple. All right, so I'm gonna switch you guys around over here and let you take a little look at what we're gonna make today. And let's see, oh, I didn't plug in my microphone either. So I gotta do that. Let me switch you around. If you guys just be patient with me for a second. Uh, let me know if it goes out or if anything happens today when I was doing a live with my team, just all of a sudden they said that it said it was paused. And I didn't do anything to pause it, but then eventually it just kind of crashed. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. Let me turn on the light, get everything centered. If you've never watched one of my Facebook Lives before, welcome, thank you for giving me a look-see. I am trying to do a Facebook Live every Tuesday, as well as I always have one on Fridays over on my group page. And over there I do three projects. It lasts an hour, it's from two central to three, and I do three projects from beginning to end. And they usually all use the same stamps and this week, there are three projects on Friday that will use this stamp set. So by the end of the week, I'll have given you four different ways to use these cute little critters. If you haven't joined my group page, make sure you do. Everybody's welcome, whether you're a customer, a demonstrator, a friend, a lurker, I don't care. You're welcome to join, okay? 
All right, so, and I will put that link, as soon as I'm done, I go back and edit the top of the video and I'll put that link up there. Thanks, Dinah, for sharing. Dinah, I'm so glad you reminded me. I give a prize for sharing and I forgot to pick out a prize. I have a basket of prizes. Okay, you guys, I promise that I will have a prize on Friday for anybody who shares this video. I'll pick out one name and it'll be good. It's a stamp set. I have a whole stack of prizes um, and I forgot to pull one out. So Dinah, thank you for reminding me. Bonnie, thank you. Okay, so let's look at our cute little critter. This is a sweet treat cup. No, I called it the wrong name again. The sweet cup. I don't know why. We used to have something called sweet treat cups, I think. We had these little cups that you put on cards for shakers. But anyway, I think that's what they were called. And I keep getting them confused. But here's the otter. And I will tell you, this is the out of the four projects that I made, this was the last one I designed because I just couldn't come up with anything. But what I really was trying to do with these is to pull in other products that you may already have. Things that aren't necessarily valentine specific things that you might have bought earlier in the summer or the fall that you can incorporate with your valentine stamp set for some valentine treats so you can see that this really doesn't look like a valentine other than it says you otter be my valentine and i even thought about you know you could mask off the word valentine you know put a post-it note on your stamp cover that up stamp those then go find another stamp that says friend and stamp friend there and then it could be an anytime gift, right? It doesn't have to be Valentine's. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our little sweet treat. Nope, I did it again. Our sweet cup. Oh, do you guys wanna know what's inside? I told you I had a really hard time coming up with what goes with an otter. Do you see what he's holding? It's a little fish. I did even Google otters and they always have like shells and stuff in their hand. So I think that they eat fish and shell fish, so. Swedish fish. That's as good as I could get you guys with the otter. I think it's a pretty good match. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the um, textured, suddenly I, I'm blanking on the name. You guys, over my blog, everything's already listed to so all the products and stuff you'll find over there when I have a blonde moment and can't remember the name. The Sea of Textures um, designer series paper. That's what this is. This came out in June with the octopus and we're actually going to use that framelit, not the stamps, but we're going to use some of these framelits too. So this is what it looks on the back, looks like on the back. It's got kind of this watery feel on the front and we're going to cut a piece that goes along on the outside of the cup. Now you're going to have to sacrifice one of your cups. Just take it and cut it right here and then cut everything off so that it lays open like this. And now you've got a template for all of your future cups. You can just save it. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. I cut mine and then I lost it. So I had to sacrifice two treat cups. I'm very sad, I had to cut two apart. But I don't know, we had, we, had a, we had an issue yesterday. I won't even go into it. it, it's embarrassing with the dogs and the trash and all kinds of things. I think it got put away outside in the trash. But if you look, they are, there's 10 cups for $8.50. So 85 cents, sacrifice one, and you're gonna use it as a template to trace onto your designer series paper. Now, I like to trace on the back side. Um, so that any pencil marks um, won't show and just trace it, whoops. And then I like to leave it a little bit long too so that I have enough to overlap. So I'm just gonna kind of extend it. Can you guys see, am I out of the frame? No, I am, okay. Just extend it maybe like half an inch there and half an inch here, just, just a little bit. All right, so then get your scissors and go ahead and cut it out. This feels like kindergarten, doesn't it? First grade, these are the kind of projects we did all the time when I taught kinder in first grade. I had lots of tracers, that's what I call them, tracers, that they would trace on their paper and cut a shape out. All right, so there we have it. And let's test it out and see how it looks. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Now, one thing I learned is that I like to use fast fuse. I don't like liquid adhesive. You guys, if you know me, you know I don't like liquid adhesive. However, fast fuse, if you put it on, 
it doesn't, doesn't move anymore. Same with tear and tape. There's no wiggle. So I found that using your Tombow liquid glue really is the best option for this because it kind of, it gives you some wiggle room. You're going to be able to um, kind of slide it around and move it around to get it exactly where you need it to be because it it needs to lay flat and it, and it wants to bubble just a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna start here in the middle and I'm just gonna wrap it around. There we go, no bubbles. When I did it with the fast fuse, it wanted to bubble and then I tried to force it and it was not pretty. All right, so give it some time to stay to dry. Let's see, I'm gonna put that lid on there. That'll hold it down, hopefully. And we're gonna set that aside. Um, I have taken my largest, if I can reach it over here, my largest layering circle framelit and I cut out a circle. It's not quite the right size. It's not exactly as the size of the lid, but it looks perfect. Marlene, the scissors that I was using are like 10 years old from Target. They're my favorite for just junky cutting. They're not, I can't cut ribbon or anything with them, but they're loose and I like them. I know, see, they have my initials on because I had them in my classroom. <laughs> I know. Oh, don't look at those scissors. They're old. Okay, so now let's do our cute little otter. We're gonna stamp him a couple of times, actually. What I did, I wanted to color him in with my Stampin' Blends, but you'll notice that the image has these little like water lines around it, and it also has that cute little bubble, and that would be extremely difficult to cut those out. So I decided to stamp it twice. I'm gonna stamp him here on the Designer Series paper, and then stamp him again on the white, and I'm gonna cut just the otter out and we're going to um, adhere him down onto the DSP. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna put him right there and then one over here on the Whisper White. I'm using Memento. Memento because we are going to use our Stampin' Blends. And when you use your Stampin' Blends, you need to use Memento, not stays on. All right, I'm gonna start with my lightest crumb cake. Let me double check, yeah, okay. For some reason, suddenly it looked kind of dark. Have you guys ever put your lids back on the wrong markers? Put your dark lids on your light marker and your light lids on your dark marker? Yeah, I've done it. Because I take my lids off and just lay them to the side while I'm coloring. All right, now I'm gonna leave the very top of his head light for just a minute. Now I'm gonna take my dark I'm gonna go around his belly like that and around his little um, muzzle. I'm not an otter expert. I don't know if we have any otter experts watching today. I am an otter lame person. I don't know. I don't know anything. All right, now that I've blended all that dark, I'm gonna go just lightly over here. I don't wanna to put too many layers on the top of his head because I want it to be the lightest. Now I'm gonna go back with the dark and I'm gonna color in his feet and the other foot or his paw. I should probably say paw. And I'm gonna do his tail quite dark. Sorry, Charlie, he just can't control himself. He's crazy. Okay, there we go. Oh, the FedEx man is here today. That's why he's barking. All right, so take your scissors, cut all that extra cardstock away, and use your tiny, sharpest scissors and go around him. Now, I usually tell you guys to leave a cloud of white around your, whatever you're cutting out, your object. But this time, we're not gonna do that. I want you to cut right on that black line, if not in even just a tiny bit on the inside part of the black line because when we glue him down onto the designer series paper, he's going to fit right into that black line that we've already stamped. And that's gonna kind of serve as his outline. So we don't want any white showing at all. Hi everybody who's joining, thank you so much. I'm so glad you joined me today. All right, have you guys started thinking about your Valentine treats? You know, we've got Yesterday was January 14th, so one month from yesterday is Valentine's. So whatever you're gonna do, you gotta decide so you can get that order in and have time 
to um, make all your goodies. All right, so see, there he is. He's super cute. And I'm just gonna stick him down right here. And see how he just kind of blends right into that other stamped image? And it looks like I colored right on the designer series paper, but I didn't. All right, I'm gonna take dark, lovely lipstick and color in that heart right there. All right, now, oh my goodness, you guys, hold on, there's something right there. you guys I don't think that's ever happened somebody came to the door while I was doing Facebook live what is happening right now and it was the neighbor boy and school's not even out oh my goodness okay breathe that was crazy you got to see really what my dogs do when people come to the door okay <laughs> I don't know if I can focus to do this that was so crazy here's the lid we're gonna put this onto our lid with some adhesive Oh, how many of you just muted me and said, laters, that is too crazy. That's what I want to do every day is mute those dogs. All right, I've put that on here. Now let me show you what I've cut out. I have used, your cat went crazy, I bet, Priscilla. Oh my gosh, I never thought about that. You guys, go, go outside. Oh, yeah, they make me have a heart attack like five times a day. This right here, this is from the Lakeside Framelits. Um, I'm, I use this little grass on garden green and I cut a bunch of them out ahead of time and then I'm using this right here. These are just the little tall grass from our sea of texture, our um, octopus set. I can't think of the name right now. I'm so flustered. So I use that to cut these out of granny apple. So just cut a bunch of them out. I also cut out some of the star uh, sand sand dollars and I'm actually going to just use a couple of those I have quite a few I cut out a bunch just because when I was making it, I didn't know what we were going to do all right so now let's take some glue dots and I'm going to adhere this oh Anita I'm so sorry he wanted to see what the excitement was about well maybe the um neighbor boy <laughs> And the FedEx man will come over to your street next. I don't know what is happening. Crazy. I don't know. That's Addie's, my daughter's little friend. He just brought something over to me. And I was like, why aren't you in school? Okay, glue dots. I cut this one off a little bit to make it a little bit shorter. And I'm going to use now, I'm going to make these stick up with many dimensionals like that one facing that way and then I'm going to stick the other one I'm going to make it backwards and go like that Charlie you need to go outside buddy nobody wants to hear from you right now especially mama no sir all right and this one he I think he thinks I'm talking to him the whole time he doesn't realize I'm making a video he says what is she saying to me all right now I'm going to take this little inside part of the sand dollar with a glue dot and I'm just going to put that like that so I what I've done is just kind of made it look more lakey or rivery or wherever he lives that's what I've um, my attempt to do with all of these grasses were I'm not trying to necessarily make a dock which is <laughs> after I after I made it I thought well that kind of looks I don't know the optics aren't right but that's okay, right? You get it. It's just like a piece of wood floating along and he's floating along. I think I'm overthinking it. I think I, you know, I got a little crazy on Sunday when I was designing and I started overthinking things. I'm gonna take some glue dots and put them right here on the edge. And then I'm gonna stick this little piece of wood texture designer series paper. It's just about a half an inch thick. And I'm just gonna cut the, the edges at an angle. Now I'm going to take some Whisper White and the sentiment, you ought to be my Valentine, with my lovely lipstick ink, which seems to have disappeared. Did I not grab it? Nope, I did not. The reason I'm using lovely lipstick is because I'm going to use the lovely lipstick foil paper in just a minute. So that's why I chose lovely lipstick. 
All right, you ought to be my Valentine. I'm just going to stamp it on Whisper White. I'm not going to do any fancy banners or anything. I am just going to trim it. Hi, Denise. And Denise, are you on your way yet for your vacation, your trip? All right, now we're just going to just cut this. He really is so cute, this little guy. goodness they are going to be in so much trouble when this video is over you know I didn't put that quite small enough I used to put the dogs in the kennel when I did Facebook live you know what I'm just going to take my scissors at this point guys <sighs> they're going to have to go back to their beds when a mama does a video all right, I've just cut it into a rectangle. Nothing fancy. Let's put just a glue dot right there and put it kind of over to the side. We don't want to cover him up. There we go. Now, I'm going to put the ribbon around it. This is the or organdy or I don't know. This is a blue ribbon. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. I am so flustered. It's from the celebration catalog, you guys. In the celebration catalog, you get things for free. Um Anytime you spend $50 during celebration, which is right now through the end of March, you get to pick something for free from that catalog. And they have this pack of ribbon and it's five different colors. It's a ton of ribbon you get for free. Now I've put a couple of glue dots around. I put one in the back to hold my ribbon like that. And then I'm gonna wrap it. There's one on the side. Oh, I'm glad you think it's funny, Cindy. Good, I don't think it's funny. Stinking dogs. Can't live with them, can't live without them. All right, let's tie this bow right here. He's very excited. He says, Mama, we don't usually have afternoon guests. All right, now, the funny thing is, is that he's so tough and he was gonna attack the door when someone comes, but he is the biggest scaredy cat of any dog we've ever had. He's scared of loud noises, he's scared of children, he's scared of men. He's just confused. And he's the sweetest, snuggliest dog we've ever had too, which is completely opposite of the way he behaves when people are here. All right, so see how I did that? I put some glue dots on the edge, wrapped it around, tied that bow right there at the bottom. Now you could leave it like that, right? You could call it done. Or you can take some of these extra little thingamabobs that you've cut from Garden Green, where did my glue dots go? From Garden Green and Granny Apple, and just kind of put them down here, add a little more fun to the side of the sweet cup, like that. There we go, and we can add in one of these sand dollars. Maybe do some of these grasses over here. Now, um, as far as what I put inside, I used Swedish fish. I found these little Swedish fish at Five Below, I believe. They are two ounces, and two of them is what I put in this cup, and there was probably room for more. So the, the cup is a little bit bigger than what we're probably used to making tiny things. Um, but not terribly big. And I think you can buy Swedish fish in just big bags of candy, you know, like a bag of M&Ms or something. All right, how about we put one right here to cover up the seam of the paper. Like that. And one more. Now, I have an alternate project to show you. It's already made, I'm not gonna make it. I just wanna show you guys, if you're not making Oh, I can't leave it alone. We've got to put this on there too. Charlie, don't you start, buddy. Don't you start. There's nobody there. We'll put that little starfish there. All right, so there you go. There you have your little otter with your Swedish fish. Now, if you don't make treats and you're, you know, like, mm, no, that's not for me. I have another idea for you. Let me show you. I made a card. And like I was, oh, I forgot the fish. Hold on, rewind. We forgot the fish. That was the whole point of me telling you about lovely lipstick. This is the foil paper, you guys, from the Celebration Catalog. Let's see if I can pull a big sheet out for you. 
it's kind of one of the hidden gems in the celebration catalog. You get several sheets of this lovely lipstick and then this, is, they're calling it Grapefruit Grove, but it's like rainbows, so cool. Um, they come together and this paper, I just wanna use constantly. And that's what I cut out the fish with. So this little framelit right here is what I use to cut out those fish. And we've gotta give our little guy some fish. So let's pull the big shot over and add these tiny fish. And I'm gonna show you how tiny they are. They are tiny. And you could, now I don't even think you could use adhesive sheets because I don't think you would be able to peel it off from these fish because they're so tiny. But you need the little take your pick tool that will help you. And if you drop your die like that, everything will flip out. Look at them, they're so cute on my, on my, uh, my little plate here. All right, so see how tiny they are? I mean, we're not messing around here. You gotta have your glasses on and you gotta have some good light for these guys. Where's my lid? Here we go. I am going to use, they are too big for a mini glue dot. So I'm just gonna take my fine tip glue pen and add some teeny tiny tiny dots and your fine tip glue pen has this little needle that goes in to keep it unclogged then take your take your pick tool and it's got this putty end and just pick them up like that and then set them down like that look at that okay Day there. Okay, let's see if I can do a teeny tiny one with everybody watching and the dogs barking. Okay, come on, stay. Oh, I did it. Let's see, I had another dot there. There we go. Look at them, they're so cute. And he's gotta be eating one. So let's give him one in his paws. There we go. I mean, so cute. Now, if you're really adventurous, you could put them down here too. Very cute. All right, now, now that we've really finished for good, let me show you the card. The card has a lot of those fish. That's what reminded me. Um, so I did everything the same. I just put it on cardstock and made it a card. Um, and I added the gingham bow here this time. And this, again, if you don't wanna do Valentine's, mask off that word and stamp the word friend there. That would just be a cute, fun card for a friend. I just think he's so cute. Okay, now let me just make sure you know where this is in the catalog. Page 15, sweet cups right there. And then back at the beginning is the Valentine stuff right here. Hey love, page eight. Um, we've got an otter, an ape, an alligator. Alligator or crocodile? I don't know. I can't decide. I'm gonna call him a gator. We've got a skunk, we've got a chipmunk, and a little bird, and they're so cute. The little samples there are really cute. Um, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of one of Friday's projects, and I'm not gonna tell you what's inside, okay? You're just gonna to have to wait, and you're gonna to have to come back on Friday. Here he is, look at him. He's so cute. Can you see what I've used? Charlie, you like it? I've used our tropical paper and some of our leaf ribbon. And look, there's that foil paper again. But I'm not telling you what's inside. Hmm, you'll have to come back and find out. And you'll have to come back and find out the other two projects too. They're all designed and ready. Now, you guys know I do Facebook Friday on Fridays at two o'clock on my Facebook group. So hop over there and join. Um, and then I send make and takes for free the next week with anybody who ordered using this week's host code. So the three projects we make on Friday, including this one, will be the make and takes that go out next week for free with a minimum $30 order between now and Monday at midnight. All right, ooh, you know what else? I'm gonna tell you guys while I have you here. Don't forget, if you're really needing some Valentine treats, I've got my Valentine treats class. The deadline is Thursday to sign up. Here it is, eight projects. There are four options. You can get the option with the bundle, 
You also get a celebration item of your choice. You can have option two without the bundle if you already have that. Option three is PDF only. And option four is for my downline. They get the make and takes at cost. So if you want it, you gotta make sure you sign up by Thursday. I'll put the link up here in the description. You have to email me for that link. I cannot, um, I cannot list it on social media. Nope, Susan, the make and takes won't include the otter guy. It'll include the three others I do on Friday. All right, you guys, let's see. Thank you for sticking with me today through Charlie's madness. He thought we were under attack there for a few minutes. He was very worried, and I appreciate it, you guys. All right, thanks so much. Let me know if you have questions. And I will see you on Friday at 2 o'clock, guys. Thanks. Bye.